What's up you guys, Steven with Magic Metal Money. We got five new secret layers that dropped today as part of the new Super Drop. They're available for the next three weeks until September 14th. We're gonna review them, talk about the value, see which ones of these are worth buying, which ones might be worth passing on, and then the bundles, of course. But before we dive in, I just wanna take a moment to thank each and every one of you. Small channel, so every time someone subscribes, it really makes a big difference, and I really appreciate all the support and growth I've been seeing lately, so thank you so much. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and join the Wolfpack. All five of the secret layers are available in regular non-foil edition for 30 bucks, and then four of them are available in foil edition for 40 bucks. They are available again until September 14th to buy, so for three weeks they're available for purchase, and the release date is December 13th. Clearly they're trying to get these out by Christmas and, and the holiday season, but I wouldn't bet on it. Just, just count on there being delays, count on some unexpected, oh hey, we're sorry, uh, we didn't get these out on time, so if you're planning to get these for someone for a Christmas gift or something, uh, I would use caution. Let's dive in. We're gonna start with the first one, which in my opinion is the best one, Teferi's Time Trouble. This is the only one not available in foil, so for 30 bucks you get the three Planeswalkers, you get Karn the Great Creator, Teferi Time Raveler, and Dak Faden. And I think this one is probably gonna be the most polarizing one as far as if people like it or not. Uh, you might look at these and say they have these ugly alpha rules text, the nasty gold, old, brown, gold, weird stripe borders. Uh, if you're an old school Magic fan, these are amazing. They decided to just take the retro frames that they've been doing over the last year or so and just turn it to 11 and say, now we're doing not only retro frames, we're doing the alpha rules text box. What's great about this is not only are they doing alpha rules text box, but they're doing it for Planeswalkers specifically, like where it makes the least amount of sense to do that type of old text format where it's just huge block text and there's no formatting and design to make it easy to understand what the card does. This is hilarious. I think it's awesome. These are so cool, but I can see the flip side. Like there's no way you just are in the middle here. You either love them or you hate them, right? And, and I love these things. I think they're awesome. Let's start with Teferi Time Raveler. First of all, I love the art here. I love Moon Cycles. Literally the art on that one inspired my shirt choice for the day. This is just beautiful, beautiful art. Big fan of it. And price-wise, Teferi's, they're about $15. Uh, you know, for a normal version, the Japanese variant, uh, those ones are like 23, and then the stained glass variant is about 35, which that one is only available in foil, so that is, you know, one reason why the price is so much higher. Uh, so the cheapest version of this, you know, before they announce these, right, obviously that affects the price that they're reprinting all these, but the cheapest one of these is 15 bucks, uh, but all the way up to 35 and what different variants you can get here. So a solid, you know, solid Planeswalker. This is a really strong Planeswalker. It's banned in Pioneer for a reason. It's a 2019 design, you know, the 2019 Cursed design year. Uh, they, they, it was really powerful. It really pushed the limits, and it's a strong card. Next is Karn the Great Creator. Beautiful card. I really like the, you know, the, the border of the card, and I love the background, actually, in the art. I think the background is really cool with the bridge and the castle and buildings. Uh, Karn himself... He's just a golem, so nothing special there. Uh, but the, the value here, again, Karn the Greek Creator, great card, you see it played all the time, it's played in modern, it's a really strong card, strong planeswalker at four mana, and uh, does a lot, you know, it has the wish board, the Karn wish board, so it's, it's really strong. They're like 11 bucks uh, for a regular version, about 22 for a Japanese variant, roughly 25 for that foil stained glass variant. Uh, so a good solid planeswalker again like a really playable card here and lastly we have Dak Faden again the art here is absolutely gorgeous just Mr. Suave Mr. Cool just looking handsome on the roof of a building and again the background here really cool I love the big El Duomo a huge dome there and, and kind of like those old Roman buildings in the back the bottom left there so I, I think this is really really cool I love the art on this card and then Dak Faden is a like a $28 card you know, it's an expensive card, uh, and then there's the Mythic Edition, that was like 85 bucks, and, and that was definitely a different thing, those were really rare, and uh, the Mythic Editions are those fancy foils, and, and those things went for a premium, they had a really low print run. Great value there again, just a solid card that's really, really playable, and that's what stands out to me so much, is that they chose three just extremely playable cards here that you do see a lot, like everyone's familiar with these cards, which is good because hopefully you know what these cards do and you don't have to read them because reading them with the alpha text is kind of a nightmare, but it is fun and I do like it. Uh, overall, we're gonna give through the five star rating here through the three different categories of value, art, and uniqueness. Uh, and honestly, value, absolutely five Toyota Corollas. I mean, this is just value town. There's so much value here and, and the cards that you really don't have to have niche playability that can just be universally used in a lot of different situations, a lot of different decks. 
major value here. For art, we're gonna give them four Michelangelos. I think they're really beautiful cards. Definitely not the most stunning things I've ever seen in my life, but I think they're really strong. I really like looking at these cards. They're really beautiful. And then uniqueness, we're gonna go ahead and give these five hipsters. We've never seen this done before, like the, the alpha rules text. I think these are just really cool. These are gonna be really chased after. You think about people who, you know, maybe don't play Magic right now, but the future players who are coming into the game a year or two from now, and they're gonna to wanna to build a modern deck or something, and they, then they see there's an option to get this alpha text, especially if it's someone who played as a kid and then circled back and is playing now again, in their 20s or 30s. Like, how cool are these? Really unique, big fan of these, definite buy in my mind. All right, moving on to the next one, we got Kamigawa Inc. And wow, I do love these so much. These are just like the mystical archives from Strixhaven, but the Japanese variants that are available in Japanese booster products. These are just, these are so cool. Like, who doesn't like these, huh? Who? Tell me. These are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm a really big fan of these. Disclaimer here, I'm probably gonna mispronounce every single one of these names. I'm not doing it on purpose. I just don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm sorry. Let's start with the red one. We got Heartless Hudasugu, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's like a $4 card, nothing crazy, but it's super beautiful. Just the simplistic uh, coloring here, and then just the mean looking guy, you know, his skulls and skeletons in the background and blood on the ground. Really cool card. Kami of the Crescent Moon, again, like four bucks, just kind of a cheaper card, you know, but it's super, super beautiful. Just the blue on this card, the, the happy looking little spirit guy in the moon. Love this card. Mashiko Kanda Truth Seeker. Uh, this is the first time it's ever been reprinted. No conspiracy mystery boosters or the list or anything like that. So it's a $30 card and now it's finally seeing a reprint. And wow, is it stunningly gorgeous. You have a beautiful lady there, the cool house in the background and her loyal dog. Awesome. Like what a great, great reprint. And it, you know, all you basically pay, if you need this card, you pay 30 bucks for it. And then you get all the other four additional cards right there with them. So really awesome reprint here and, and definitely a good one for the community. Ricky, the history of Kamigawa, an $8 card. So solid value there and just some awesome art. Just this tattooed guy playing his lyre or whatever this instrument is, the string instrument, his guitar. And he's just playing it away and his tattoo art just goes up into the air as well. Awesome. And lastly, we have Toshiro Umazawa. Again, First time it's been reprinted. It's about a $10 card and this guy is just a handsome devil just looking good I can't get enough of this type of art like this is just absolutely gorgeous wrapping up this one with a full review Starting with value, uh, if you want a Mashika Kanda, it's definitely a four, four and a half, like solid value here. That card alone is 30 bucks. If you don't care so much about that card and you're like, yeah, I'll use it, you know, I'll put it in a deck, why not? Uh, then it's maybe a three on the value train. Like all these are good cards. They're not bulk rares that are, you know, free in the dollar bin or whatever. But uh, if you if you want the, the white one, Mashika Kanda, it, this is amazing value. Art, obviously a five. If that was, <laughs> I just can't get enough of this stuff. And it's just, these are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. These are the type of cards that you can just, you could buy the secret layer and just put them on your wall. That's how beautiful I think these are. And then with uniqueness, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of tempted to give these a four because we just barely had these mystical archives and, and we just barely had this type of art done. But realistically, this is a five on the uniqueness scale when you think about the scope of magic. It just so happens that we have this like recency bias that we just comes off the tail of these being printed. But we've never seen cards printed like this. I think they're just, so unique and so cool and so fitting for Kamigawa. Beautiful, love these, a definite buy again. Next up is the artist series for Johannes Voss. And one thing that should be noted, which is really cool, that on these, there is a poem written by him that makes up the flavor text across the four cards. So that's really, really cool, I like that. First card they did was Sanctum Prelate. And this card's interested, interesting price-wise, because it's like a $24 card, uh, but then it was just printed in Modern Horizons 2 as the Biobrox promo, and because it was a buy box promo, it's only like eight bucks. So huge price disparity. So I don't really know where you want to price this one. Like you could say it's maybe 15, just put it in the middle somewhere. Maybe an $8 card, maybe a $20 card, $24 card. So we'll just say it's like a $15 card and, and, and it's got good, good value there. Carpet of Flowers, I love the coloring on this one. Probably my favorite part. Uh, it's a $30 card. Carpet of Flowers, obviously extremely powerful mana engine against those blue decks. This art, I really like. I didn't at first, it was like, okay, uh, but then I, the more I look at it, the more I really like the saturation of the colors. I think it's beautiful. Sphere of Safety, a nice $4 card. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, but uh, this anime style of art is fun. 
I like it. It's different. And Karmic Guide, this card's been printed a million times and it's like a one to three dollar card and it, it, it's fine. Uh, n nothing like stand out, oh my gosh, craziness here. So overall, uh, I'm gonna put the value here at like a three because Carpet of Flowers is like a valuable card, but not really the most played card. Uh, so if you really value Carpet of Flowers and you were looking to buy one anyway, then this might be like a four, you know, because you get, again, that $30 card and all this add-on stuff uh, in addition to that, especially the Sanctum Prelate. Again, a powerful legacy card. But we'll see if it finds a home in Modern. Right now it hasn't, but it, it could. It very easily could. And so that's a card that could definitely spike if it starts to see more Modern plays suddenly in a Death and Taxes deck. The art, I'm only going to give it a three, which is good. You know, threes are still positive, definitely. Uh, but it just didn't shout out at me as just being so cool and just capture my attention uh, and then uniqueness honestly like a two uh you know johannes Voss does a lot of johannes Voss does a lot of art for magic and these just feel like kind of normal magic cards for the most part with the exception of the anime uh sphere of safety one so only a two on uniqueness overall this one you could easily pass on like if you're you know if you're looking at your budget if you're not loving this one not really worth it unless you're looking for a carpet of flowers. The fourth secret layer of the drop is another artist series, Thomas Boxa. Boxa? I, I don't know how to say that name, but it's cool looking. I like the spelling of it. Uh, first card, Obnixilis. Obviously not very valuable at all, like maybe a dollar if you round up, but really, really sick art. I mean, this is just some nice metal art with a holding that guy that he just like fried alive. You see the skull and the flames. Really, really cool. I like that there's the hedron in the background. So major fan of the art. Not a not the most expensive card you'll ever see. Sliver Hive Lord, a nice twenty dollar card being thrown into here with some special promo art. Uh, I think the theme of this art is like the why they didn't allow magic in elementary school in the nineties, and you know, like why parents said, "I don't want my kids getting into magic. It looks all evil and devilish." Because there's some sick, evil, and devilish art in this artist series, Sire of Insanity. Not much to say here. Another dollar bulk rare that they threw into this one. Uh, and then lastly, Spellskite, which uh, again, well, this one's like a four or five dollar card. It sees some play. It's a really useful card. It's really a, a kind of a unique card. You know, the, the fact that you can retarget things to it and, you know, with the Phyrexian mana. So definitely a powerful card. It's seen some modern play before and Infect, and it could see play again for sure. Uh, but right now, it, it's a simple four or five dollar card. So wrapping up this one, I'm gonna give the value two Corollas two Toyota Corollas, it's just the, the value train isn't here. Like all these cards don't even add up to be $30 on it. So if, even if you're looking for the Sliver Hive Lord, like you're not getting like bonus value in the other cards. So eh, kind of a bummer. For the art, I'm gonna give it like three and a half Michelangelo's. Definitely really cool looking art. I like it. Again, that more hard, brutal, violent type of style of art. Uh, so it, three and a half, maybe even a four Michelangelo's. But uniqueness, again, I'm just gonna give it like, like two hipsters. It's just not the most unique not the most unique type of cards that we've ever seen. They look like magic cards, which isn't a bad thing. But you just look at these and think, yeah, these, these are fitting. They don't really feel like the craziest promos you've ever seen. Wrapping up the video here with our last one. This is Math is for Blockers. And the big standout card, of course, is going to be Brazen Borrower Petty Theft. Again, a 2019 design card. Really powerful. Always will be a powerful card. It does a lot. It's so flexible with the bounce and then the 3-1 the flash flying threat. This is a great card. It's like a $20 card uh, with the showcase version, right? Because this is Throne of Eldrain, the first uh, collector boxers, collector boosters. And, uh, you know, so the showcase is like 40 bucks, and the showcase art is really cool. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, but th this new art is also fascinating with the geometry and, and the moon in the background, the big circle and the triangle. So uh, I think this is a really unique unique style of art and I like this card a lot. Vindictive Lich, a nice $9 card that they threw in here and this is a great card for Commander. Uh, again, you got really cool art with the, the little thing he's holding. I don't know what it is, a little treasure he's, he's idling there and, and worshiping and then you have the moon again in the background. Great looking card and a solid little you know, nine, ten dollar pickup. Meandering Tower Shell for your ultra powerful zero dollar card. This is the type of thing that you can get for free. Uh, but what it reminded me when I saw this card is I thought, when I was a little kid and we had Aladdin and the King of Thieves come out, wasn't there like a turtle where the, the turtle would pop up and he had like a whole city on his back? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. So that's fun. 
but as far as being a valuable card, this thing is worth zero dollars. Oran Frostfang. Pretty hard to say, and I got it on my first try, so I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, this is a good $12 card. Again, a solid pickup. Give your creatures death touch and attack and draw cards or tribute, you know, force to trade off with your little token creatures that now have death touch. So uh, a really strong card and a great pickup. Overall, this set, uh, in the last one to wrap it up, the math is for blockers. Well, let me give you some math. This is at least a four on the value train, uh, unless you have no place for Brazen Borrower. If you don't even want that card, I mean, it's still a good trade value, right? You can put it in your trade binder and it, it'll move quickly. It's not just bulk in your trade binder that no one's ever gonna want. This card will move for sure. So even if you don't want that, it's at least a three and a half, but I put this thing at a four in value. There's some really solid cards here. Uh, so four Toyota Corollas for the art. Again, it, it, this is cool. They're really fun to look at. They're interesting to look at. I like looking at these cards. We're gonna give them four Michelangelo's. Lastly, for the uniqueness scale, we're gonna give it three hipsters. These cards are unique. They are different. They have a cool style to them. Uh, but again, you could see these, they definitely look like promos. They don't look like normal magic cards, but they definitely fit. They don't stand out and they're like, oh my gosh, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. So we're gonna give it a three on the uniqueness, three hipsters. Okay, that was a lot that we just covered. Hope this was valuable for you. Last thing we're gonna cover after going through each individual secret layer of this drop are the bundles and the best way to buy them. If this video has been valuable for you, go ahead and hit like if you're new here, subscribe and join the Wolf Pack. So let's talk about buying these things. First of all, as always, you really gotta get $99 to make sure that you can get the free shipping. Adding shipping onto these is just a, a kick in the Meester's baubles. You know what I mean? Like it's just awful. This is 2021 here. Who pays for shipping these days? And $100 is a really big price point to have to get free shipping. I don't really like that about these secret layers. I think that's too much to require, but it does make a big difference. So if you wanna go in with them with your friends and combine your order, good way to get your free shipping. I recommend it, otherwise, you're just, you're just getting kicked there. Just kicked right in the teeth, man. It's just not fun to pay for shipping. The bundle to get all five regular ones is $120. That's 20% off solid value. So now you're looking at $24 a piece instead of 30 a piece. So if you're just a big fan and you like all of them, or if you like four of them, buy the bundle. You guarantee yourself free shipping and you just get the fifth one that you're not really a big fan of in addition to that for the same price of buying the four. So definitely see the value in this if you like most or all of them. The foil bundle is 130 rather than 160 if you were to buy all four of the foil ones available. So that's good, a good 19% off and that puts them at $32 a piece rather than 40 a piece. Again, solid value, definitely worth it if you're a big fan of all of them and if you like Pringles because you know these things are gonna be curved and uh, wavy and they're gonna be able to stand up by themselves, you know, because they're gonna be so curved. So kind of a cool feature. You don't even have to buy a case for these things. You just stand them on up, pretty sweet. And then the big bundle, for those of you who are feeling nice and spendy, if you want all of them, you say, I want the foils and I want the non-foils and these are gorgeous and maybe you're gonna use them as gifts for other people and all your magic friends, you're gonna use these and like, hey, I wanna give you good gifts. That's a cool thing to do with these and this is a good way to do it. For the entire bundle, it's $240, which is definitely a big chunk of change, but man, do you get the extra value there. You're getting 23% off, just about 25% off of the uh, full retail price, which, you know, they pick, right? But that's a real, compared to your other options of buying these, that's gonna be the best bang for your buck. Uh, that puts it about $23 for the regular ones, and about $31 for the foil ones. Uh, you're, paying, you know, you're paying each with that discount. So again, if you want all of these for your collection or you wanna hold onto these and maybe put them under your mattress and see if you can sell them down the road if they go up in value, which Secret Layers have so far returned pretty well for the first year or two that they've been out. So we're seeing a good chance that these will have some long-term value. Never know, we'll see. Uh, so if you're willing to, willing to risk it and you kinda of wanna get that nice diversified package of getting all of them in, and you know you don't know which ones will go up the most and which ones won't. It's impossible to predict that stuff, so you can get the nice diversified portfolio, so to speak. Uh, or again, if you just wanna give out a bunch of gifts and make sure you have these available for different reasons, different occasions, this is gonna be the, the big bundle, is definitely the way to do it. You get a big discount up front, and it's totally worth uh, that if you want to buy them for a reason. Well, that does it for me. I need to drink some water and get some food. We'll see you next time.